I remember I was young and we left school and there's all that excitement and school's built you up for life. After about a year of finishing school, there's a feeling of, yeah. is this it? There was a few experiences where I started losing any sense of reality and having to escape places, thinking people were talking about me or out to get me and not being able to cope. After these experiences, who I identified myself as, all that just fell away. And that slowly led to me just not going out. It was like a shift in them few months from being that confident, sociable person, doing all the stuff with his friends and everything, to this complete stranger. It was like it all just got torn down. It was almost sudden, like one minute I was who I thought I was. And then one minute I wasn't. I kept trying to go out and see friends, but I'd go out, sit with them whether it was in the house or whatever, before I'd have to make excuses and just get out and go. It was a complete collapse of my social life more than anything, do you know what I mean? Because I just couldn't interact anymore. Even stood in enclosed spaces with my parents for more than five minutes, I'd start sweating, getting anxious and needing to get out of the room, like, it was so intense. So I'd stay up at night when everyone was in bed and sleep through the day. And I remember my mum coming in one time that was like a point of, right, there's something not right here. Because I remember getting upset and crying, and my mum was upset. If I look back in my mind, it's just like darkness. Just a dark cloud, like the memories are just dark. You couldn't see any horizon or anything. You're just in this thing. What I boiled it down to, is the fear of the unknown. There was a period of like six months that I remember there where, you know, I just wouldn't open my blinds, didn't see daylight for ages and just completely consumed about thoughts of how to kill myself. Because my parents supported me and I did have a bedroom and a house, there was support there for me. My mum picked up a leaflet for a therapist and I started seeing him he went well because he came from a different background. He also liked walking and he mentioned it. I think I sort of had a reaction to it, like my eyes lit up a little bit. And so he said, do you want to go walking in the lakes? That became my therapy sessions. So we would walk and we would talk. So it was like one of the first times I'd been outside in five or six years. A big part of my problem isn't actually the outside, which is what most people think it is. It's people, it's social spaces. That's what I struggle with. It's good because even though it came about by accident, now that I look at it, it really points to the moment when things started to change. When you're not so caught up in it, it starts working its way through. When you're down in the trees, you can't see. But as you start to walk up the mountain, you get to look down and see the lay of the land. Like being able to look at what's going on within me without being in the depths of it, having that bird's eye view, that observation. There is light at the end of the tunnel, even though you can't see it. It's an experience that will make you a much deeper person, stronger, you'll know yourself. Once you get through them parts, you look back on it as something really valuable and something you'd never change. It's a profound thing, I think. It doesn't seem like 15 years. What I've noticed from where I am now, there's a process you have to go through. It has to come from within, because otherwise there's too much resistance to it. I think there's a point you reach where the pain and anguish of staying the same becomes less than the fear of making a change. Even though it's slow, you just start to put your toes in the water, so to speak. And it might be something really small, like coming down and sitting in the living room for an hour with your mum and dad, even though you're really anxious. 
but you're just craving the company, which you haven't had in years. And that anxiousness doesn't override that craving for that contact, to be close to someone. So you sit there, and that's one step. It took a long time to realise that wasn't me and this is a process in finding out who I am and becoming me.